This is Dr. Scanamayor reporting to you from Andrew MD, where we have exciting new information today concerning how to stop or slow down memory loss and Alzheimer's disease. With two simple activities, what are they? Exercise and learning. If we simply do these two activities, we can increase our brain's reserve capacity, reserve meaning like a bank account, having more money in case of an injury available in the future as we age, thereby decreasing our risk of memory loss. What do we have to do? Number one, we have to learn new things. Learning a language, learning an instrument, singing, crossword puzzles, all have been shown to decrease the risk of memory loss and Alzheimer's disease. Number two, we have to exercise. Exercise has been shown to improve the part of the brain called the hippocampus and thereby decrease the risk of memory loss. Brisk walking, higher intensity exercise, aerobic exercise, meaning increasing our heart rate, increasing our breathing rate, will decrease the risk of memory loss. How does this work? The part of the brain called the hippocampus is very important in short-term memory. This part of the brain has a hormone called BDNF. If we increase the levels of BDNF, we will increase the size of our hippocampus, improve its capacity, improve its function. Exercise has been shown to increase this hormone level by one and a half times. Even the Framingham Heart Study showed that people who exercised more had more BDNF and had lower levels of Alzheimer's disease lower risk. Exercise is also important to decrease other risk factors for memory loss and Alzheimer's disease including obesity, it improves our mood, and takes away stress. Again, in summary, very important exciting information from Andrew MD to help you fend off your risk of Alzheimer's disease by two simple activities, exercise and learning. Thank you for your attention.